we're here with Rachel Kudo, who you just saw performing there. She was a quarter finalist in this year's 2017 competition. She also competed actually eight years ago, and we found uh, we were very curious about the the differences for you. How does it feel being back after eight years? It feels much more fun really? I think yeah because I think I'm more more mature and yeah and um, yeah it was a it was a more fun experience for me oh, definitely I wasn't terrorized <laughs> <laughs> like last time by stage fright you yeah. played so gorgeously yeah. the Thank Schumann you. Carnival was Thank one you. of the highlights for both of us yeah. can you talk about this what this experience has meant to you as a whole Fort Worth the audience your host family well, I think the Fort Worth hospitality, I'm sure you know, is just, I think, the best, really. And the, the community, my hosts, my friends, it's just been such a great experience. Um, and, yeah, playing my heart out. You know, you really feel you the totally audience did. is so receptive. Yes. So we talked about, you know, competing in at this competition a couple times, but just in competitions in general. How do you approach this sort of environment? Because obviously it's different from a concert. And, um, and also, how has your approach changed over the years? I think it was a learning process um, because, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit unusual and maybe unnatural. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think the focus has always to be on the music. Right. So it's it's yeah it was certainly a learning process for me. Yeah. Right. Well, the audience loved you, and you and I have quite a history. We've both had the privilege to to work with two of the greatest piano pedagogues, in our opinion. Yeah. Um, Emilio Del Rosario in Chicago, mm -hmm. and Johannes Koplinski at the Juilliard School. Yes. Can you talk a bit about how they've impacted your life? personally and musically. Well, I'm sure it's the same for you, but you know, Emilio, who we called Mr. D, he really, you know, his dedication, I think, to his students, and he was, you know, at the school every day from probably 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and this was every day of the week, yeah. yeah. And I think that kind of love and passion for music definitely was inspiring, and I had that from a young age, so. Right. And also, um, Veda, I mean, I think she, really cares about each of her students you know mm -hmm. not just her, the musical part but the personal growth and i think that was for me very touching and i was very lucky yeah okay. we both were yeah, i totally agree yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we have a couple questions we wanted to ask you specific to this year's competition because you're the first competitor we've been able to interview since the competition began i didn't know that yes. Yes. We're excited i'm so for honored us. oh my gosh wow <laughs> we are so curious how difficult was mark andre hamlin's request Required work. All three of you played it, and you obviously did an incredible job it. with it. But it looked so difficult. It, it is difficult. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. You know, some people were like, "Is it one of those pieces that is, you know, se seems hard, but it's actually not that hard?" No, mm -hmm. it was really hard. Oh. It was really hard. But the yeah. thing is, I think you you Made have that hump. Easy. You know, uh -huh. you work on it really, really hard for like the first few weeks, and it's like, "Oh my God, this is impossible." Yeah. And then somehow it just kind of clicks after some time you spend with it. Well, not doesn't click, but it, it becomes a little bit easier. And sure. you're like, oh, it's actually humanly possible. <laughs> it's going to be possible. But I think the consensus among all the competitors that is that we really love the piece. And we actually really enjoyed it, which is really unusual for our <laughs> commission, commission work. We did, yeah. too. We actually we started it. to miss it after <laughs> the first <laughs> round. We're like, we want to hear Love on Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, what, what projects do you have currently and what are you looking forward to coming up? That's that's the most exciting part. I feel like now, you know, I can really dive into projects and, and I'm discussing some, yeah, maybe composers that I really want to work Fantastic. on. And oh, wow. Yeah. And Here's actually maybe reason. even another work with Mark. Um, oh. I hope. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. He so has to, thrilling. He has to agree. But yeah, that would be really great. That's wow. fantastic. Yeah. So much to look forward to. I'm also curious, as a competitor this year, they changed the format from what you did eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Did that agree with you as a competitor, or did you find some of the new requirements frustrating? I think that was great. Yeah. I mean, to have the commission piece in the first round, <laughs> so we all had to <laughs> play it. I think that's fantastic because it's true that you know most most competitors don't put that as a priority. You know, mm -hmm. learning the piece, you know, making it the best that they can. Sure. They think, well, it's in the later round you know maybe I won't get to it and if I do yeah. get to it I'll just work on it then but no this was in the, the beginning so I think that was a great thing and Good. also yeah the Mozart concerto I think is a fantastic idea yeah. because it really 
shows a lot. It's revealing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Speaking well, of revealing. Yes, we have a couple of short questions we want you to answer okay. instinctively, quickly. Okay. Rachel, you are in the hot seat for Clyburning questions. Let's do this. <laughs> We're going to begin. Which pianist no longer living would you like to play duo piano with? Claudio Arau. Mm. What is your favorite piece of chamber music to play? Brahms piano trios. Mm. Brahms piano trios. All right. What's your most challenging yoga position? Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> I can't do this, so a headstand. A handstand. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> um, what is your favorite non classical artist? Um, or who? Art Tatum. Oh, oh interesting. Excellent. What's your go to shopping destination? Oh my gosh. Uh, Nordstrom because of their return policy. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what's your fave dessert? Oh, chocolate. Anything chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't argue with that. It was so, so lovely to have you.